revisions or changes to the agenda? Anything? Public comments or correspondence from voters? From the peanut, peanut gallery? <laughs> Um, that would take a motion to approve the minutes of March 19th. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second them. Is there any discussion of the minutes of the 19th? We talked about a lot that day. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. I didn't see any. Well, it seems like it was just a couple minutes ago. I know, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> No discussion? Further discussion? All those in favor of approving the minutes as presented, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Thanks. Um, response to the AOE regarding Act 46 questions. Yeah. Everybody, I'm assuming, has yeah. seen the materials that Matt sent around for, earlier. For, I would make a motion that we they're not in the packet. There was no, but I've got them with me somewhere. There you go. That we, Floor, do you think approve is it? So Excellent. I have a question because this is in the discussion agenda and the action is later. So I'm, I'm always confused by this piece. And I'll be honest, the two boards that I'm on operate differently. So the second board that I'm on, it's all mashed together. The action and the and discussion are discuss. one and the same. So I keep forgetting to split the. Okay. <laughs> I keep I just, forgetting it, to split it's just them apart. Confusing Technically, me. according to Robert's rules, you're supposed to have a motion and a second before you discuss. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, that may be something that we should think about in terms of building our agenda, mm -hmm. so that we, if we want to follow Robert's rules, then we should actually have a motion and a second, and then we discuss, and then we take a vote, mm -hmm. instead of the discussion piece, and then having to take a motion and a second, and actually sort of going through the literal motions okay. later. I just, it was no, just, it's we, we kind of totally talk about this every, question. Thing, every time, I feel like, and yeah. I never understand when the, yeah, so that would be great. So I will make sure with Bill that there's no reason not to do that, but if there's no objection to doing it that way. Um, I think the only reason that we sort of break things out is that there are items like board orders and stuff that don't need discussion, and then there are items that often have, um, that are more sort of standard. Right. Mm -hmm. So my motion would be to endorse the response to the AOE regarding Act 46 questions. I will second that, and I do have a little discussion about it. Okay. So, it, you know, Matt and I went back and forth in it. So we we had it. I don't know if you had a chance to read it. The last two paragraphs. Um, last two paragraphs were on the current the, status. Uh, the current on the current the current status. So uh, the other suggest. So by adding those two paragraphs. Uh, sort of el eliminating, sending to them our, the superintendent report of uh, January, uh, January, my computer just died. Mm -hmm. But, um, so I was thinking that we needed some evidence, so we made a, a little synopsis of what we're currently doing, which mm -hmm. is something that I thought it was important because most of what we have said to the AOE right now is, is plans that we have for the future. Mm -hmm. uh, so what, one of the things that, wanted to discuss is if it would be if it would be worth it or if it makes it too long we decided to take it out but we were unsure if it's worth it to send that those minutes or that, that packet that was sent to us of what this is just like a, it just okay. references sure. to the package of the superintendent's report yeah, so if you look at the current status you say you can but for under March 28, 2000 at Carousel meeting in the, uh, there's that list oh, that can be found. And I just feel like, uh, so that's how we decided to do it for condensing it. I was inclined of including the package because I think that even if it makes it larger, they don't have to read it, but it's there and they don't have to go looking mm -hmm. uh, for it. Our minutes are not the easiest thing to look mm -hmm. through in our in our website yeah. or mm -hmm. it, so I'm just asking the question I, I felt that we don't lose anything it, it is true we went back and forth because we felt like we if it makes it too long they don't read it mm -hmm. 
-hmm. but if we just put it as an attack i don't know so i'm looking for input so it might be just fine as we left it well, my input would be if we approve something different that's, than the other board, my then nothing well. happens. Right. Then they have to go back and vote to include it as well. Yeah, and I was supposed to bring it up, and then I chicken out. I should have brought it up. I kind it, of feel like um, yeah. if they got this, yeah, and they were they they saw this part, they could if they call really want questions. information, they'd call yeah. Bill okay. and say, please submit that that you mm -hmm. referenced. We can't find it on your website, or we would prefer a hard right. copy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that's sort of what the thinking was, but I thought yeah. I'd brainstorm with you guys because. Because I agree with Stephen. If we decide something, that's true. every other board's going to have to meet to decide. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Further discussion? Is everybody comfortable with sort of lumping 5.1 in with yes with 3.1? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, all of those in favor of endorsing the response, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Thanks. Um, 3.2, school safety. I'll be honest, I'm not... Prepared. Immediately remembering what that was. I'd, I'd like to, I'll take advantage of it. Yeah. Because I had something to say at the full board. Um, I mean, I, I spent a lot of time trying to come to grips with this as, as far as what our responsibility as a board should be. And, and the awkward way I just tried to describe it to the full board was I, I feel like we shouldn't be saying specifics but just like w when we have the budget we say this is what we expect mm -hmm. um, so for instance the for instance i'll use is a resource officer um, well i don't even want specific the we have, I feel like we need to give Alicia some guidance mm -hmm. on, on how we feel about school safety. And I don't think we're ready to do it yet, mm -hmm. but I think we should have discussions on, and with the community, on what level of school safety do we want. Because in my mind, I'm more familiar with the collegiate level, but safety in my mind is always a balance this balance is between safety and accessibility. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. If you're really super accessible, your safety is compromised. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you're super, super safe, you're really restricted mm -hmm. in your accessibility. So I think the board needs to provide to the administration, where are we in that spectrum? Mm -hmm. Because Alicia and the administrators can design any level of safety we want and i just feel and you can chime in alicia i feel it's unfair to alicia for us to say make the school safe and give us feedback well right, right. a little more guidance or to micromanage you know what the traffic's like at what times right. of the day and when things are coming in yeah i would very much appreciate that i feel like when we did the renovation there was a lot of talk about safety mm -hmm. and a lot of what we put in place was to address safety issues mm -hmm which was really helpful for me knowing, you know, what the community and the board's stance was on it. We really haven't talked since then. Um, just so you, did I, tell me if I told you this last week, but I had a, um, a state police come to visit me. Did I share this mm -hmm. with you? Okay. Um, so there was the announcement made that every school will be visited by the police, right? And we would mm -hmm. review our safety and that did happen um, a couple weeks ago or maybe it was just last week. Um, and we and we reviewed the policy and kind of, or the procedures and what we do. And you know, the first thing he said was, I was pleased to, to know that I couldn't just enter your building. I had to get buzzed in. And so we talked about, um, you know, different schools he's visited and what he's seen and um, you know, any recommendations or suggestions he might have. And then he said, he asked if there was anything I felt we could use help with as a school from, from them. And I said, you know, one of the, you know, just one area, and this is just one small example. We have two cameras right mm -hmm. now. I think everybody knows, right? They're at the two main entrances. Um, there's a lot of the building mm -hmm. interior and exterior we don't, can't see. 
playground is an example. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and so, but that's nothing we've never, we've never talked about any of that. Um, and I would love to hear your position or, you know, the community's position, because it's been at least five years since mm -hmm. we, mm -hmm. and a lot's happened in those five years. Mm -hmm. right. And he was, he was a great resource, and, uh, but I also didn't know how to tap into him because I didn't know what, you know, what you should we be looking for. Us, right. right. I personally think there should be more cameras. I agree. Right. Yeah. But. And then in a school that we have them in every parking lot when kids do donuts on the field we are able to see what kind of car did donuts on the field right yeah. um, we, those kinds of we things don't have that. but um, so we have but we have you know we find beer cans a mm -hmm. lot and other things up in the parking lot I mean just mm -hmm. things happen mm -hmm. even just thinking about kids coming and going from recess in those doors we mm -hmm. we never I you know if you're not standing right there you wouldn't know what's going on but that's just one example of so for my, like I, as a community member, a parent, I don't know what I want. So would mm -hmm. it be beneficial to have a state trooper come talk to us about yeah. that? Yeah. Like, I, about what he sees and what his expectations are? Because mm -hmm. I think for my, I don't, I just don't know. I, yeah. I don't think the cameras would be a great idea. I, you know, I've heard things about cars and traffic in the parking lot at mm -hmm. night that maybe that would help deter and... But that's a just, reactive tool, not a right. proactive tool exactly. as well, right? Yeah. So, But I just think for safety, even during the day, mm -hmm. somebody could be up on the playground that you're going out for recess, you don't or know, in and if it's, a classroom. you know, mm -hmm. if where I teach, the main person has a screen that's just all the cameras right. mm -hmm. and it's just clicking through them at all time I don't think she's sitting there watching it all the time no but, but it's there it's being there recorded. and yeah. people know it's there yeah and it's it's on 24 hours a day so then I wonder if it would make sense as maybe heading into our budgeting discussions to have almost like a, an annual check-in, where are we on the paradigm of accessibility versus safety um, versus is there a best practice, yeah, that's right. right? Is there, are there, and it may be that we get that from a police officer or somebody who's sort of in that world, what are the recommendations for a small rural? Yeah, or that know, leads it from the, Superintendents right. Association. Uh, they right, wherever it comes from. We already from. do some. I did uh, a few years ago. I had the Montpelier um, retired resource officer Mark Lodi, who now yeah. does secure your building. Yeah, I used to work with Mark. Um, <laughs> so he came and did a whole audit. Mm -hmm. I would be happy to send that to you. That might be a nice starting place for you because it was after the building was renovated. Yeah. He came in and he spent a lot of time in the building interviewing Todd, interviewing myself, um, and he did a, a pretty extensive report. Like you know, and, and it goes, it talks about accessibility and um, security. You know, bulletproof glass, getting in the vestibule. Then what happens? Like there's, mm -hmm. he kind of walked through scenarios. So why don't I share that with you? And that mm -hmm. might be a place for you to start to mm -hmm. look at because, you know with everything comes money right and at that point we just said thank you this was helpful to have mm -hmm. in case we ever need it but um it, it was done not that long ago and, and i'm happy to send that to you that would be great yeah that sounds great mm -hmm. and then we'll have a starting yeah we'll, we'll start start have a starting point and uh, yeah. it's just being a little more intentional than we have been Right, because we had a discussion about cameras when the vandalism happened on the playground. Exactly. We had a discussion about yeah. building security when we were doing an end-to-end -end renovation. Yeah. Maybe yeah. with yeah, makes sense could, to definitely. just be a little more proactive yeah. about having those conversations. I agree. I think being a little more intentional about that would be mm -hmm. would behoove us all. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Good. Anything else on school safety, or are we moving to reports to the board? So maybe that can go on next month's agenda, and you, and yep. I'll, you can have, we'll have time to look at that before then. Yep, I'll put that on as a future agenda item. Um,
what a school safety report? It was called the Security, Security Safety Inspection Audit. Yeah. And I, I thought we looked at that back then. It was, it was, um, and it was, the, the, yeah. I don't we think so as a board. It was no, I don't 2000, January about that. of 2015 is when I when he sent this to me. He spent uh, quite a bit of time in that fall, mm -hmm. 2014, right after the building was done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I had him come in and okay. share it. And it's a pretty extensive report. It's over 20 pages long. So. Right. Oh. Yes, we know those reports. We yeah, do them so for but IT systems instead of buildings. <laughs> I probably about, told yeah, you, but yeah, at that time it wasn't it. really yeah, on, no, the no, radar, on the radar like it is now. Yeah. yeah. Do we have a board order Which tonight? Which is interesting. Yeah. Last week, yeah, I because it was That's right what I thought. Right, well, a couple of years after St. Catherine. Mm -hmm. But we had taken all the brick first. But we had also done all of this. Yeah, yeah. Under the administration report, is that where we still are? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so Bill alluded to it. You know, if you've got time, look at the other principal mm -hmm. reports. I'll tell you um, what yeah. I caught me. Some of what I saw in that was discussed in the executive committee. Um, so around um, curricular work, you know, how the, we should have curricular alignment between the schools. Mm -hmm. And the maple sugar was a good thing that we talked about at the executive committee where we can have alignment without being um, cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. So, you know, because the maple sugaring came up and they're like, well, we feel, you know, strong, this group mm -hmm. done, and some other groups were like, well, we wouldn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, what we talked about was curricular alignment could be. Um, and I'm just bringing it up for us to think about individually. But curricular alignment could be we want part of our school's curriculum to be devoted towards uh, working in the environment. Mm -hmm. And Romney decides to do it by sure. doing maple sugar. Yeah. And maybe East Montpelier does it by bird watching. Eco. Eco. Or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the curricular alignment is general mm -hmm. how the schools do that is can be highly individualized mm -hmm. based on community and what's available and that kind of stuff so things to be thinking curricularly um, it, it was a sort of a mind shift in the executive committee for people to start saying you're right we can agree to do things together and it doesn't have to be the same the theme is the same but how you approach the theme can be incredibly mm -hmm. varied. The personality mm -hmm. right. is different. Right. No. Yeah. There's many ways to get to those standards. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. There is. So right. what would you say would be helpful? Because, you know, honestly, we do these in a vacuum. I have no idea what the other principals are writing or what about or, you know. It, I think that's fine. It's always a surprise, but I'm wondering if it would be helpful if, like, say, each month or something, we reported on a standard or in a in a subject i don't know if to see like how we're doing it in in the different schools how we're addressing different things well for me i'm trying to think so uh, in a board meeting uh, so under administration if there was a short report from the leadership team on um if it's uh, if it's around curricular stuff here's an area of coordinating curriculum that we're talking about at mm -hmm. the leadership team. Mm -hmm. It's about this concept or this idea. Um, and we wanted to let each of the boards know that the leadership team's having that discussion. And yeah. here's kind of our current thinking. Just so then it, we're informed and we're like, we can either be like, oh, that's great. Keep having that. Right. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Don't yeah, bug yeah. me. Or well, that's something maybe we should think about and get involved with. Yeah, that's a, and that's a good And then that point. would give a common thread right. to all the principal's reports, but yeah. still allow them to be, mm -hmm. you know, really different. I think what you're gonna, I think that's a great, I'm just gonna make a note of that to bring it up at our next leadership team, but um, I think that's a great point. And I, you will see 
the principal's reports start to look very similar because we will have a common continuous improvement plan. Mm -hmm. So I kind of went out and drafted one based on our implementation plan this mm -hmm. year because it helps me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the way it looks. Um, mm -hmm. It's an accountability system for me. Every month I'm like, what are we doing in these areas? And it, it keeps it right, right at the forefront of the work we're doing. But so that will shift a bit because everyone will have a, uh, there will be a common continuous improvement plan. But I like giving your idea of something coming from the leadership team because we do meet twice a month. Yeah, we meet yeah. at least eight hours a month and we're doing mm -hmm. a lot together. Mm -hmm. but. Right. In the, under the high quality professional development, I had a couple of just, um, the second bullet I think, there's some um, acronyms there that like Tabata for oh. the PE, mm -hmm. but it doesn't say what that is. Mm -hmm. And then down at the next to the last bullet, you had workshops with Dave Melnick, who we've worked with at our school, but it doesn't say in what. Because mm -hmm. in your mind, mm -hmm. you know what you met with Dave okay. Melnick. It says they will mm -hmm. share their, could you mm -hmm. add those kinds of details mm -hmm. for I was going to actually, I was Thursday. going to link, um, and I can't tell you, Tabata, what it exactly stands for, but I was going to it's link. Actually, it's actually, I think it's a word from. Oh, uh, it's, it's not an acronym. I don't think it's an acronym, but it's like, uh, it's a series of 20-second uh, yes. of activity, 10-second of rest, 20-second, it's a four-minute mm -hmm. cycle, so you do eight rounds of. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I was going to link his presentation for you, but then I thought that you might think that was overkill, so I didn't. But though that's helpful for me to know. Just um, the topic. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you give the professional developer's name, mm -hmm. and then if it had said in trauma or mm -hmm. It is. It so is. it's all yeah. what Floor was talking to you about last week, wanting you, you all to participate, and Bill yep. had said it would be great for Dave to come to the mm -hmm. boards. Mm -hmm. right. And I'm glad you brought it up tonight to everyone. I know, um, but it was kind of, yeah. Because it's I'll it's work it that even at the awareness level I think would be helpful. Like mm -hmm. you've done a lot, probably yeah. more than we've even done with him. We've got a lot more of them yeah. come. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, and all the things that we're talking about are are, are linked to to right. that. Right. Even it's safety, <laughs> even school safety. Do. So yeah. Yeah. it is, yeah. So yeah. I looked up Tabata. Oh, what is it? It shouldn't be in capitals. It's a word. It's a Japanese word. That was, that's what it's I thought. Like it was a Japanese bugs. word. But. So oh, it's, right. it is, it's it is, a type right. yeah. of she workout. Said. Yeah. 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 It's a. Um, so that's why it seemed like a it's acronym, but it's something. not. It's a person's name, Doctor Izumi Tabata. Did I, I don't know why there. I didn't look it up before, but it just the Dave Melnick jumped you're, out at me. <laughs> you're you're clearly. An educator, that's why you got well, the depth of looking it up nuts. online. No, 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 I don't. Disagree. I can be in a yeah. meeting and somebody throws an acronym, I lose the whole meeting because I'm trying to figure out what they're talking mm, about. Right, <laughs> and what is that? Yeah. And he does, he does capitalize it. Blanche does, but okay. um, it's a Tabata so, workout. So, what it basically, and he's been teaching kids, and for those of you with students who will be doing student led conferences, you're going to learn more about it. But he had, so he trained the teachers by going through this in a staff meeting. So we actually Fine. went through it. Um, and it, it's a, um, a whole study that he did when he was teaching in Massachusetts and the whole school did it. And it's basically, you know, getting your body in a place and your mind in a place where you're more available to learn. Um, so uh, we talked a lot about, and I think we're the only school that does all student-led conferences in the spring in this SU. Um, and that's been a goal of ours for a couple of years and we finally have everyone on board. Um, and we talked about rather than the UARTS teachers writing long progress reports still, having kids share that learning. Like how can you, like practice the record, third graders, play the recorder as part of the conference. Come and let's look at the artwork on the wall and, and have it be more student-directed. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the, ideas that um, Mr. Blanchard had was have to have the students go through a Tabata exercise with their parents and, t and teach them how they're using it at school. Um, and the staff were very engaged and it that. was pretty funny. <laughs> awesome. Any more on reports? We don't have a fiscal report, correct? We mm -hmm. did that last, last week. week. 
Um, we've done our action agenda. We don't have a board order. We've talked about future agenda items, board communication. I think that brings us to adjournment. Yahoo. So just so you know, um, I have a group of eager students that will be coming on the 24th to present. Okay. Um, we'll put them right up front in the agenda so they can yes. come and go. So 7.3, <laughs> student presentation. <coughs> okay, and we will adjourn at 7.30.